Hey everyone, this is Johnny Keys coming at you once again and this is Johnson. Today I'm going to talk to you about what to do when you feel discouraged learning the piano. Uh, now before I get into the lesson, I want to wish you a happy new year. We are in 2021. I wish you all the best. If you're new to this channel and you want to continue uh, you know, watching free lessons just like this one, if you want to be part of this family, then go ahead and click on the subscribe button right below the video click on the bell icon so you get notified anytime i post a new video now let's get into the lesson so um i want to i want to say getting discouraged learning the piano is a part of the journey it has happened to me a lot of time i, I probably would say from day one learning the piano has been it has been full of discouragement like for example i, I you know i didn't have a piano of my own uh my my, my parents weren't in support learning the, the the piano uh i got a lot of people like you know putting me down and, and, and just call me all sort of name and discourage me in one or two ways okay so i i probably would say discouragement discouragement has been part of my journey like like i'm talking about real discouragement man it's part of it so if you feel discouraged you are not alone that's what i'm here to tell you if it's, it's okay to feel discouraged okay but what do you do when you feel discouraged i'm going to share with you three things that i personally do to get me out of discouragement and to get me on the keyboard and and, and 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 learn something new this is what i do personally and i hope it helps you the first thing that I do when I feel discouraged what the first thing that I do is I watch videos of the pro plane so on my computer uh, I have tons of videos of the pros you know um, tons of videos of the pro like um, um, Jamal Hartwell uh, Mike Burrow you know, I think this is from my bro. Uh, I don't know. I don't have a favorite key no more. Just keep playing, Doc. <laughs> okay, so this is um, I'll just, I'll just play it. from my bro. Okay. 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 So I watch videos like this. You know, that's what I do personally. I watch videos. Of these pros, I have videos from Kevin Bond, you know, you know, just random videos. Hmm, my God! Ooh. If you don't have a headset, you might probably, you might, you might think of having a headset. Hmm, my God! So videos like from. Um, Corey Henry, you know, another old song I like from church. Come on, Corey. <laughs> oh. So, um, let me talk about this video. I got this video in 2019 when. At, at a time that I was I was discouraged, I was like, Charlie, what am I doing? And I went on the internet and I downloaded this video. And it has been here. When well, anytime I feel discouraged, I just listen to it. And when I listen to it, I hear certain things that I love and I want to learn. And that gets me on the piano. Okay? So that's the first thing that I do. So you might try it. You might try it. Anytime you feel discouraged, just get the videos of the people that you love to watch play okay and just listen to them listen to them and even as you're listening you are giving your your brain the chance to you know um hear new things and 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 as you hear new things you might be tempted to you know play them yourself you might try to play them yourself and that's gonna and that's a credit that's gonna be a bonus okay so this is the first thing that i do when i get this courage um the second thing that i do when i feel this courage is I listen to my favorite you know, tunes, my favorite music. So, one thing that I think is very important as a musician is you have to figure out what you learn, what you love to play, what type of 
music do you really love to play? Do you really love to play soft, sweet music? Do you really love praise, you know, the fast tempo songs? Do you really love to play worship songs? What do you really want to do? What do you love to listen to? What do you love to play? Are you into jazz? Personally, I love listening to slow, soft music. Slow, soft, and sweet. That's why I listen to a lot of R&Bs. So I listen to more of worship songs than, you know, praise songs. And so, personally, even at church, if I had the option of somebody, you know, a substitute player, you know, coming over to play the praise, I don't have a problem. Because I'm not really interested in the praise, you know, the fast tempo songs. I love to play very subtle, you know, very slow and sweet. That's why I listen to a lot of jazz, you know, it's very sweet, you know, that's, that's personally, that's what I love to do. So anytime I feel discouraged, what I do is I just go back, you know, I have song, I have artists that I really love to listen to, like Donnie McClucken, Marvin Sapp, Kirk Franklin, all these guys have, you know, songs that is very sweet, like, you know, uh, um, song like, you don't have to worry, Kirk Franklin, and don't you be, it's very sweet and slow, and so I listen to those kind of songs, I have, let me, let me go to the music side, okay, so, in my music session, I have different, you know, different types of music here, I have Ed Abriku here, I have Cecilia Mafu here, I have, um, Marvin Sapp, and I have, you know, other people as well, contemporary gospel. So I have T.D. Jakes, and you know, T.D. Jakes, you know, when I listen to all of these tracks, they are sweet and they are slow, and that's what I do, that's what I love listening to. So anytime I get discouraged, I just, you know, listen to these types of music, all right, these slow, sweet songs. And the third thing that I want to talk about, that I want to talk about is, why did you learn the piano? I learned to play the piano not because somebody asked me to, not because I, I, I had to play it to save a life, not because I had to play it at church, because trust me, I learned to play the piano even when I, I wasn't even into church stuff. I learned this instrument because I love to do it. I just love to play it. I don't need money to encourage me to play i don't need words of wisdom to encourage me to play i just love to do the thing okay i just love to anytime i'm doing it i i i don't know that there's something that's inside of me that's so uh i don't know how to even describe the joy that i feel playing a piano guys it's 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 it's, it's amazing i love to do the thing and so even when i'm discouraged it is something that I, I, I want to do. It's, it's like a passion. So it gets me on a piano. Alright? So these are the three things that, you know, help me come back. Discourage me. The first thing is to watch videos of the pros play, you know, random videos. The second thing is listen to my favorite tunes. Slow, sweet songs. It could be even from uh, the R&B singers like Asha or Chris Brown. I just listen, listen to the stuff that I love, I love to do. The third thing that keeps me going is uh, the the reason why I you know I played uh, or the reason why I learned to play. I'm also letting you guys that know that my private course is available. If you want to play this, if you want to play the stuff that I play with understanding, if you want to be able to play songs on your own, I will encourage you to you know um, join the private you know course. And it's going to help 